Mark's Classic Rock, Q1043. All right, welcome back. Jonathan Clark in the studio with an L.A. band called Starcrawler, the brand-new debut album. Here it is. And uh, they're playing in Brooklyn Tuesday night. That is tomorrow night uh, at Elsewhere Zone 1. Uh, guys, I want to read some quotes. First of all, welcome to the show. Thank you for coming by. Um, from Classic Rock Magazine, if Patti Smith and Ozzy had a kid, it would be Arrow DeWild. Uh, Mojo, Glam Shock, L.A. Delinquents, Find Hope for Rock and Roll. We love that. And L.A. Times, Step Back, Mopey, Indie Rock Singers, because a wild young lead vocalist named Arrow DeWild has been tearing through the city, kicking up rock and roll dust with the force of the Tasmanian devil. These are some pretty awesome quotes. So, Arrow, I know your mom is, is a well-known photographer. Your dad is a drummer. When I first listened to this music, I heard all of my favorite bands. Um, so my question to you is, were your parents playing Alice Cooper? Were they playing Sabbath with the Iggy, the Stooges when you were growing up? Is that how you found out about this music? Um, yeah, mostly my dad would play that kind of stuff. Yeah. My mom, like I grew up a lot, around a lot of like, I guess like whatever she was shooting mainly. Like yeah, yeah. Elliot and right. stuff like that, White Stripes and stuff. But, right. Um, yeah, I guess my dad, like, he introduced me to a lot of music, and then I, like, liked it, you know, and then just found more on my own. Yeah. So. Um, how did Ryan Adams end up producing you guys? Um, He just, like, saw, would see pictures of us on Instagram and stuff. And oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. And then, like... Clips? My, did you put video clips up there, yeah, too? Yeah, because we put video clips, and my mom would post stuff sometimes, and so he would, like, see, I guess, see it, and... Yeah. Then he like wrote an email, whatever, came to show. You know, <laughs> one thing led to another. Like, yeah. yeah. Um, and you recorded this old school two inch tape, the old uh, analog two inch tape yes. yeah, on the analog way. tape machines. Uh, and this was at uh, the legendary studio Sunset Sound. Um, what's it like walking into a studio like that? Did you. Do you feel the vibes of the ghosts of rock and roll when you walk into a studio like that? Does it inspire you? Well, it was his brand. He has like this little branch off of it called Pac Sam. And Pac Sam, yeah, it yeah. It used to be the storage space for the studio, and then he got it and did all. Oh, this okay. Stuff it. Yeah. And it's really cool. There's leopard print on the ceilings and these checkered white and black floors. Pinball. Oh, pinball. Well, yeah. Ryan loves pinball. We know that. Um, the first time I heard about Sunset Sound was uh, the Beach Boys song, Good Vibrations. That that middle part where they go, ah, and there's this huge reverb panel that is evidently legendary at Sunset mm -hmm. Sound, um, which I first heard about. Um, so is anyone 20 years old in this band? That, that side. Yeah, oh, that okay. Side. So you're 20 and you are- no, I'm 22. <laughs> oh, you're 22. I, when you said you're 20, the old I just man. assumed above, so yeah, yeah, I'm 22. And- 21. And? 17. Wow. His Seven. voice went down. Ara, how old are you? <laughs> 19. Wow. It's always interesting um, how people meet in bands, um, but in this case, Ara, how did Austin come to be in this band? Um, Just like they're mutual friends. Yeah, like I had known of Arrow really? because we had mutual friends, but I can't remember exactly why we started hanging out, but... Because I saw that you played drums, or you said you played drums or something. Yeah. So I, I like wrote you. I didn't even know you. I was like, it was like serendipitous <laughs> moment, I guess, where we were just connected, and I started hanging out with her at um, her grandparents' house, which is our now rehearsal studio. Oh, okay. And we were just for like at least two or three months. It was just her and I, kind of going, making noise. Like I can barely play guitar, and I was like trying to be like, we should try this, and then she would play <laughs> drums, and it'd be like kind of just figuring out what to do. Yeah. And then, um, she met Henry at school right. a couple months later, and then he came in and kind of gave us more structure because obviously he's a very good guitar player. He gave us more structure to like, let's try this, and that's actually yeah, because it's kind of hard when it's like singer and a drummer has like, and neither of us really play guitar. We're like, what do we do? Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah we need some melody. Yeah, yeah exactly. that's it. Yeah, we got to do it's that. Just rhythm and screaming. So uh, the band is Star Crawler. They're in the studio with us. They're playing in Brooklyn uh, tomorrow night, Tuesday night at Elsewhere Zone One. Um, Elton John, how did he become a fan of you guys? Um, he heard Matt Wilkinson play us on Beats 1, I believe. Oh, okay. We assume that yeah, we because assume we, we've never met him. Because I know really Ryan know. knows him pretty well, too, right? Doesn't yeah, Ryan know Elton? I think so. He yeah, they did, a, they did yeah. something together back in the early 2000s. They did the show. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, and also Dave Grohl uh, is a fan of you guys. That? Did you play Cal know. Jam? I, I don't know how that happened either. But yeah, yeah, we played. They like just they just both of those people just like randomly emailed us and were like, oh okay. But we, yeah, I know that's kind of mind boggling. Right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a real. You get a lot of cool emails, I guess. <laughs> so did you play Cal Jam last year? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh okay. So what's it like going from a rehearsal to studio to like this massive stage? There's a lot more room to run around. I well, would it's think, actually right? hotter outside. Well, yeah, we know that. Well, that but... year it was insane. It was well, like and it's October, right? Is that what it is? Yeah. Normally. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but well, it's still summer over there. Yeah, totally. Star Crawler is the band. Uh, everyone go out and get this new album. It's really fantastic. Uh, they're playing in Brooklyn uh, tomorrow night, Tuesday night at Elsewhere Zone One. Um, there's a song on the album which I've been playing on this show called I Love L.A., it's not a cover of the famous Randy Newman song. We'll get that out of the way right there. Uh, but it's a new song. The video for this song is pretty awesome. Arrow, you're playing a waitress in a donut shop. Mm. Was that fun, shooting this video? Because it's absolutely hilarious, that video. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was really fun. Yeah. Um, so talk about that song, I Love L.A. Is it just because you guys grew up there and you love living there? Or is there is there more to the story? He started writing yeah. it. He was like in I, Michigan. Yeah, or something. I was actually I went on a trip from to New York and then I went to Kalamazoo, Michigan, and I hated both the places so much that I just thought about you it. hate I New York. <laughs> well, you know, you controversial to say that on the radio. You're in here New in York. New York, dude. <laughs> it's Most people different. say I love New York, but yeah, but well, it's, okay. it's all right. It's it's all right. Arrow, how about you? Do you love coming to New York City? Have you been here many times? I've been here a lot. Okay. I like it for like a couple of days and then I like want yeah, to go back. Right, yeah. Just I can't of... figure out the trains. I like New York. I enjoy it. Sorry. Right. <laughs> well, the, you know, uh, <laughs> out of necessity, I figured out the subway schedule because it's like $2.50 or $2.70. I don't know what it is. But to go anywhere, yeah. you know, in, the, in all the five boroughs. So it's pretty convenient. Yeah. But I know. I get it. When I didn't know it, I was like, it is kind I'm of taking like... a cab. Well, I, would, wait, I, just... I don't have enough money for a cab. <laughs> exactly. I <would> just, even <laughs> if it was like a five-mile walk for something I wanted to do here, I'd do it. Like It's just like a str- It's just stressful. Like walking down the street, I just am like stressed out. Yeah. Oh, just... oh, no. Maybe it's because <laughs> I'm used to L.A. and there's like streets are empty. Because yeah, no, right. no, no one walks, walks in L.A. There. at all. And there's just like nature everywhere. So it's like, I don't yeah. know, like here it's just like, ah. <sighs> <laughs> Everyone, no, no you're right. It's just like a scream. Like, Everyone's in a rush. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's in a I'm rush. I'm never in a rush. Yeah. Well, that's a good place to be, I think. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, you're right. Nobody walks in L. A. Yeah. And if yeah. they see you walking, they think you're insane. There's yeah, something like wrong with you. Yeah, yeah totally. Because yeah, I've done that a few times, and everyone's like driving by. I love walking in L. A. Though yeah, it's the fun. Best. Yeah. yeah. Sunset Boulevard. That's pretty yeah. much all yeah. I've walked on. But uh, <laughs> well, that, that'll take you anywhere. So. Yeah, that's true. That's if, true. If you actually walk, if you walk the whole thing, you can go all the way to like the beach, the beach. into yeah. downtown. So right, yeah. Well, anyway, um, great to have you guys in here. I love Thank this record. I'm going to hold it up again to the cameras here because this is some pure rock and roll mm-hmm. on this album. It's the debut album from Star Crawler. We appreciate you guys coming in and uh, stay safe on the road and uh, come back anytime. Don't Thanks, be strangers. Man. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. New York's classic rock, Q1043.